Hello again everyone, this is Tim Beal for GottaBeMobile.com and I'm back today with another Mac video tutorial. Today's topic is how to back up your iTunes playlist on your Mac. Now in today's day and age of streaming services, playlists may not be the most common thing, especially these sort of mixtape style playlists where we've made a custom flow of songs that we enjoy. However, I still like to preserve these in case they do get deleted on accident within iTunes. And once you have the playlist that you enjoy selected in iTunes, in order to export it and save it, all you need to do is navigate to the file menu, choose library, and from there, export playlist. Now the format we're going to export this playlist and is called XML and this is essentially going to be a reference file again this is not going to contain the actual songs this is going to save a playlist depending on the fact that these songs are available in your iTunes library so that when you import this playlist XML it will be able to quickly source and reference those songs and put them in the correct order now if we were to delete this playlist we can actually check and make sure that the playlist exported properly and the way we do so is head it back up to the file menu go to library and this time import playlist and we're going to check that XML file and sure enough there there is the exact song order that we had designated for the winter metal playlist. Now, if you open up the file in Finder, you can actually look at what's going on within the XML script and see that it's pointing iTunes to look at these certain file types with these certain names by this artist and so on and so forth. Now, if you want to actually save all of the songs, keep in mind this is going to make your backup file a little bigger, but you simply select all in iTunes and then drag and drop to a new folder where you're going to also store your XML playlist file. From there, I like to compress that backup to make sure that all of those are in one convenient zip folder so that way I can drag that onto an external hard drive or Dropbox wherever I would like to keep it. You can also then send this to a friend who may not have all of these songs in their iTunes library. Keep in mind though, authorization still may need to be put in, passwords and so on and so forth, unless they were burned from CDs. But there you go, a couple of ways to back up your playlist in iTunes. I hope you found this helpful. Take care.